Hello, my name is Gillian and I'm from Queensland, Australia. I'm in my 40s and I was diagnosed in 2010. I had DCIS and invasive cancer. I had a modified mastectomy which resulted in ER positive and node negative. After ticking off chemotherapy and radiation, hormone therapy was the next cab off the rank for me. I had a meeting with my surgeon and uh, had a discussion around the drugs that were involved and he was wanting to prescribed tamoxifen uh, to me. I had some concerns around tamoxifen and its side effects, so I spent quite a few months researching tamoxifen and all the other drugs that could be used um, within that group. So there was tamoxifen, uh, toramifen, relaxifen, glomifen, and even all the aromatase inhibitors. I even looked at the prophylactic oophoroctomy, which is the removal of ovaries. And at the end of the day, I have chosen not to take tamoxifen. It just did not feel right for me. I have a number of breasty friends who are on tamoxifen, and that is the right decision for them. However, it just didn't sit well for me. So my issue in this phase was really about what am I going to do if I don't take tamoxifen to address the estrogen dominance issue. During my research, on tamoxifen, I found out that estrogen metabolizes down a number of pathways in the liver, resulting in both good and bad estrogen. The good estrogen is known as OH2 or 2-hydroxyesterone, and the bad estrogen is 16-OH or 16-hydroxyesterone. The lower your ratio of OH2 to OH16, the higher your risk of breast cancer. The ideal value of your 2 to 16 ratio is above 2. There is a test to find out what your 2 to 16 ratio is and it's done through HealthScope. You would need to see your naturopath to have that ordered um, and do a urine test. As I mentioned, the ratio is 2 to 1. That is the preferred ratio. I had my test done and I was at 5 to 1. So that was certainly very pleasing and put my mind at rest. I also found out that I can influence how my body metabolizes um, estrogen by what I ate. So there is an enzyme or a nutrient in cruciferous vegetables, which is broccoli and cauliflower and spinach, that will assist your body to metabolize estrogen down the safe pathway. That's called um, DIM. It's actually quite a long name, which I'm not going to attempt to, to uh, pronounce, but the information is on the links page of this website. So there's a couple of options. You can either take supplements uh, such as Indolplex or Estroessence which have this DIM uh, enzyme in it or you can eat a lot of broccoli and um, cauliflower etc. The problem is with eating the plants um, as a whole food is that you would actually need to eat a truckload of broccoli to get enough DIM to have an impact on the way your body metabolizes your estrogen. So your alternative is to eat broccoli sprouts or even better broccoli sprout powder. And broccoli sprout powder is broccoli sprouts that have grown to three days and then frozen and then powdered. So they contain approximately 20 to 50 times the amount of enzyme than a mature head of broccoli would hold. I put one teaspoon of broccoli sprout powder on all my lunches and all my dinners and it actually tastes pretty good. The second thing I came across during my research was progesterone and it's quite controversial. There are many schools of thought out there amongst hormone specialists that progesterone, and that's natural progesterone, not synthetic progesterone, protects against cancer. It does that by two ways. One is once the progesterone attaches to the progesterone receptor, it will stop the cell from dividing and splitting and multiplying. The second thing it does is that by taking progesterone, and that could be progesterone cream, um, will balance out your estrogen dominance, therefore decreasing your estrogen dominance and reducing your risk. Something to look at, there's some links on the, uh, on the website for you to investigate, um, so enjoy that controversial one. The third element I came across in managing my estrogen levels was stress and the stress hormone called cortisol. We all need cortisol. Um, but too much cortisol and high levels of cortisol over a long period of time is very bad for us. It does two things. One, it impacts our immune system and decreases the ability of our immune system to fight disease. And according to Dr. Lee, who wrote the book Breast Cancer, um, 
what the doctors haven't told you about, also mentions that high levels of cortisol can increase your estrogen levels, and I believe he said ninefold, but it was some crazy amount. So the question was, how was I going to manage my cortisol level? Because let's face it, we're always stressed at some point in our life. And I came across a herb called holly basil. And holly basil has been around for centuries. I believe it comes from India. And it is also called tulsi, which is named after a Hindu goddess. It's known for its anti-stress properties. It's also an antibacterial, antiviral, and a natural inflammatory. You can get it as a supplement in tablet form, or you can also buy the basil from, um, from a nursery. Research studies on, on animals have shown that the holly basil directly reduces your cortisol level in your body. And I have to say, it also puts you in quite a, a nice relaxed state. So in summary, the protocol I'm following to manage my estrogen levels is threefold. The first thing I do is I take broccoli sprout powder on my lunches and my dinners, and when I'm traveling, I take the supplement. This enables my body to metabolize estrogen down the safe pathway and increases my 2 to 16 ratio. So I have more good estrogen than I do bad estrogen in my body. The second thing is um, natural progesterone cream. This balances my estrogen levels and also prevents against abnormal cell division. And the third thing is holly basil is taken as a supplement, but I do look forward to the day that I can grow my own. And that's taken to reduce my cortisol level in my body, which will help maintain a solid immune system and reduce my estrogen levels. So that's the three things I'm doing. I hope that information is of assistance and uh, I'll see you again. Thanks.